Hello, in this tutorial we'll be making a basic snake in Roblox Studio where you'll be able to uh, add parts to the body and uh, reduce uh, the number of parts in the body by uh, walking over the, the bricks. Now as a prerequisite uh, you will need a, a, a plugin called Rig Edit Light. I will put a link to, to that uh, plug-in in the uh, description uh, so you just need to go to that link and then hit install and then restart Roblox Studio uh, to get that plug-in um, activated because we will need to rig um, some basic parts of the snake so first of all I'm going to add a, a sphere I'm just going to keep the default size of uh, four studs by four studs by four studs and then we rename that part to the humanoid root part uh, I'm just going to add a dec decal. Uh, I will paste the the, the texture uh, URL um, to the um, description as well. Uh, just make sure the face is is set to front, so you know where the front of our snake will be. So it just makes it easier then uh, to add the uh, additional body parts. So. I'm going to just duplicate that humanoid root part and then we'll rename that part to body one, body dash one, uh, and then just drag it back a bit. So and the next thing you need to do is just uh, add a block normal brick part, uh, just change its size to one, 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 uh, and then we're going to put that directly inside the humanoid root part. Now if you click on the humanoid root part and just copy it, its its position, then click on your part and then paste that into the position box. So it puts it directly inside. And then we're going to rename that to uh, head. So we're going to create all of the necessary uh, body parts. Um, so the animate script uh, which is the normal default Roblox one, uh, doesn't start uh, producing errors. So if you duplicate the head uh, and then call that torso and then duplicate the torso, call it left hip, hip and then drag that so it's a child of the torso. So I'm just constantly pressing Control D uh, to du duplicate the part and then just rename the part to the various uh, body parts that we need. And then once you've done that, uh, just select uh, all of the parts that we've just created and then hit Control G to group those parts. And then we will rename the model to starter character. That's very important that you get the, the, uh, the spelling and the uh, capitalization correct as well. And we need to set, assign a primary part and then we just choose the humanoid root part as the primary part. And then if you add a humanoid in there as well. If you go into plugins, uh, click on edit rig. Uh, if you select the torso and then the head and then click on create joints. Now you always have to click on torso first and then the part, then the part which you want to create the joint to. So it's always torso and then for example, left hip then create joint and then torso and then left shoulder uh, and then create the joint. So I'm pressing the control key uh, to select individual parts. And once that's done, that is our basic snake uh, rigged. Now we need to create a constraint, which is a ball socket constraint, uh, which will allow the snake to like uh, rig wriggle uh, as, as, as we move it. So if you click on um, the ball socket constraint in create, uh, you want to set the attachment uh, to be in the center of the humanoid root part and then click and then go to the right side, the left side of the body one and then click again so it's in the center. Now what I've done is I've clicked on attachment one in body one and then just dragged it back by half a stud. So it's just inside the body. It allows it to wriggle a little bit better. Um, so it's a little bit, otherwise it starts, the, the body will start spinning round on, on its axis. And if you go into service storage, uh, just create an int value called body n. 
and set that value to one. Um, within uh, the starter character, just copy the body one part and then paste that into server storage, renaming it to body and then remove the attachment that's within there. Uh, we're just going to create some uh, some blocks where we can uh, add body parts and another one where we can remove body parts and we'll put some scripts in there to do that de de that detection. So whenever you walk walk over it, let's say like the add brick, uh, it will uh, add a body part. When you walk over the reduce brick, it will remove the body part which is at the end of the snake. So I've just created two bricks I've called one add and one reduce. Make sure can collide is off and anchored is on. Uh, I'm just going to create a billboard just so we know which brick does what. Uh, just be a text label that will just hover over the, over the top, top of the brick. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but just for this uh, example, uh, it just makes it easier to, to distinguish between the two. So I'm just setting this, the, the size of the text label. Uh, I'm just going to call that one. So it says reduce body. I'm just going to set the text scale to on. Then I'm going to copy that billboard and I'm going to paste it into add. And then just change the text to uh, call it uh, add body. Now within the add, if we add a script, we're going to set some initial variables, one to uh, server storage and a debounce um, variable. So the script.parent.touched is when something touches that part, this event will now fire. So if the debounce is false, then we set it to true, so we don't keep constantly firing uh, this uh, touch event. I mean, it's important that you check that hit.parent is not nil. And then we can check if the, our snake has actually touched it by doing if hit.parent find first child humanoid. Then we know our player has just touched that brick. So I'm going to set a, a variable called pname, which is basically going to be, be the player's name, which is hit.parent.name. Then I'm going to increase that body end value by one, which is in the server storage. And I'm going to clone the, the body part. Now, initially, the on line 14, we're going to set the C frame of that clone body part to, um, the, pre to, uh, to the same position of another body part, which would be the last one of the snake, which is currently at the end of the snake. And then we're going to get its look vector of that body part. Uh, so then we can then change the new cloned body part to the C frame minus its look vector. So we basically it puts it at the end of the snake, directly behind it. So if you're if you were to make a, a if you were making spheres that were 10 comma 10 comma 10 that its size then in line 16 instead of having 2 comma 0 comma 2 you would put 5 comma 0 comma 5 it always has to be half the size of whatever your snake is and then we're going to clone that to the player in the workspace and now we need to make the attachments and the uh, the ball socket con con uh, constraint. So first of all, we're going to make one attachment and we're going to uh, parent that uh, to the last body part. So it will be the uh, body end dot value minus one. And then we need to make another attachment, which we're then going to parent to the body clone. Uh, the the piece of the part that we've just cloned out of service storage. So we're just setting its position uh, so it's in the correct position on the actual part. 
and it's set in its orientation as well. So it's 90 degrees uh, to the left, I believe. And then just make sure that's parented to the body clone. And then we need to create the actual ball socket constraint. And we just set its attachment zero to attach zero and its attachment one to attach one and then parent that to the body clone. And then I'm just going to change the brick color. So we're going to have a five second timeout. So it's you can only add parts to your snake every five seconds. So we'll color, color it red to make sure to tell you that you can't do it at the moment and then wait five seconds, then set it back to gray. And then we need to make sure that that debounce is set back to false. And that's it for that. And then on the, and then we're going to create another script under reduce. When this one's just going to take that last body part away. So it's the first bits are kind of the, the same as, as the previous script. So we're still going to do a touch event. We still got a debounce. So it's not constantly firing the uh, touched event. So it's going to get the player's name in, uh, from hit.parent.name. So if the body end value in service storage, if, if, it, if it was one, then I don't want to remove um, that last that 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 uh, that body part. I only want to remove body parts when there's more than two uh, extra body parts. So we're just going to make sure that that last body part is still there. And if it is, then I'm just going to destroy it. And then we need to destroy, if it's there, uh, attachment zero from the body part that that was connected to just to tidy up. So when you go back and add another body part, we're not going to get loads of these attachment zeros um, parented to that body part. So we're just going to tidy up and destroy that attachment zero. And then we're just going to reduce the body end value by one. And then again, I'm just going to color the brick uh, red to show that you it's uh, not active. Wait five seconds, and then we're just going to color it back to gray. And then making sure we set deep ounce back to false. And that is it. Um, so we can uh, go ahead and test it. So there's our snake, there's his eyes, and off he goes. And then when we go on to add body, uh, an extra body part gets uh, added. And then we wait for it to go gray, and we're going to add another one. Then we can go over uh, to the reduced body part to make sure that that last sphere gets removed, which it does. And then wait for it to go gray. And then now, next time it goes gray, I sh that last body part should not be removed, which it's not. So that's great. That's exactly how I wanted it. And if I go back up to add body part, I can then... Uh, add some more and that's it i hope you learned something new i did because i've been wanting to do this for ages and i finally figured out how you do it and i just thought i'd like to share that okay thank you